I want to talk to you today about narcissism. This word is bandied about in our society and most of the time it's in a negative way. And I want to talk to you about it in a way that makes things very clear as to the difference between narcissism and narcissistic personality disorder and the rest of us. So here we go. This is the scale I developed to kind of give you a very quick way to know about narcissism. Okay, so if we think of it, this as a scale, which we're all on a scale of being narcissistic, meaning we all have traits of not narcissism and narcissism. We all do. So if this is a scale of us, down here, we would consider somebody to have no narcissism or not any narcissistic traits. Mm, okay. Uh, this would be somebody perhaps catatonically depressed, no affect, no ability to even relate to others. So they're way down here on the scale. So if we keep going up the scale, we hit here. This is the middle range and where we would say is a normative level of narcissism. We're all in here and we think we have, some of us have traits um, that um, sometimes dependent on what the situation is, could feel narcissistic, like we're envious of someone, or we feel grandiose about something we're doing. But in the scheme of things, we're all just feeling like we know ourselves, what we're good at, we know others and what they're good at, we give kudos to others for things, we're all in that normative range. Okay, so here, we're gonna go up the scale a little more. Here, high level narcissists. So these folks have a high level of narcissism. So these folks are the very successful people in the world who have high level of narcissism, meaning they are your surgeons. It takes a high level of narcissism to cut into somebody and say, I'm going to um, uh, fix them, right? Now, not all surgeons. I mean people who have traits of narcissism, grandiosity. They are the best. No one else is better. They don't have to ever hear anything negative about themselves. And if they do, they say, oh, that's not true. These high level narcissists are here and they're very valuable to society because they are the movers and shakers of the world. They tend to be high achievers in here. Okay, now we go up the scale more to the end. These people have what is known as narcissistic personality disorder. These folks, interestingly enough, are not achieved. These people don't have achievement concurrent with anything that they do in their life. So whatever job they have, they get fired. Uh, they have trouble with the law. They also um, are very grandiose, extremely grandiose about who they are and what they do. And it can be very false and uh, put to a degree that isn't true at all. So if they have a high school education, say, they feel that they should be president of the university. <laughs> you see, it's completely disordered and out of the realm of what we would deem to be successful, right? Um, and these folks do not have a high level of success at all. So this line is very, very interesting, this line here, because it is a strange kind of crossover from success to this. But it's a very important distinction that I am going to talk about in part two of this series. The distinction between high level narcissists and those with NPD, because if you are dating and you feel, hmm, I wonder, this is confusing. Am I just dealing with a narcissist here that you can have a decent relationship with someone who is high level narcissism. You can have a great life as a matter of fact, 
if you can tolerate some of the characteristics and traits that go along with this. But here, it's going to be very, very different, and I'm going to talk about that in part two of this little series on narcissism. Thank you.